Ryan, thanks so much for joining us, mate. You're in Tampa. So when's the next tourney? Uh, starts tomorrow, which is the uh, Valspar at, uh, at Innisbrook. So um, hopefully this is the start of some form. It's been yeah, close. Well, yeah. Not, not, not great, but there's been signs of it, and there's been signs of it not being there as well. you got to get back on the horse. It happens real quick, doesn't it? It does, yeah. I mean, golf's a funny game. Yeah, I've said it enough times. You feel like you're two swings away from playing good and you're two swings away from playing bad. So hopefully I'm just two swings away from playing good now. What do you put it down to? Because, again, I mean, in all of these tournaments, and we saw it at Sawgrass as well, you had some great shots. In that first round, I thought it was excellent, and then it just you know, just kind of slipped away. Yeah, it's, last week was a funny one. I got a virus on uh, Thursday. Um, and sort of woke up Friday morning with really sore hands and feet, feeling lethargic and lightheaded, and that's not a golf course you want to be feeling like that on, and I just didn't have it on Friday, and it was a bit disappointing because I actually I came off Thursday. Obviously, I had a, a couple of pretty incredible shots on Thursday, but you know my, my back nine, which was the front nine, I felt like I had a lot of really good shots and you know felt like I was starting to find something, and then... You know, it just kind of disappeared completely on on Friday, not feeling myself and, you know, came into this week, you know, feeling like I was back at square one a little bit. What do you do in those circumstances? Do you go back onto the driving range? How is it best for you to get over or get through it? Uh, yeah, I've just been working hard, just trying to find a couple of feelings to take out onto the golf course. And there's certainly been some positive stuff over the last few weeks. Um, you know, I had a really nice last round at, at the Cognizant um, in West Palm and obviously, you know, a, a decent first round at the players. Um, and I just, it's just been one of those trips so far. I just haven't been able to put it all together. You know, I've had signs of it. Mm. Um, you know, I've had a couple of good rounds. I've had rounds where something's gone really well and then everything else kind of hasn't worked. Um, yeah, I've had, you know, rounds where I felt like I played okay and couldn't score. It's, you know, it just seems like, golf is is getting me at the moment and you know i've had a pretty good couple of years and just unfortunately it just feels like at the moment it's i've picked a bad time to have a little bit of a downturn and hopefully i can turn it around pretty quick what a bastard of a game it is isn't it eh uh yeah yeah and you know there's <laughs> it's been tough travel wise this year you know, oh yeah I i've bet. had the family there's yep. been some uncertainty schedule wise you know traveling with two kids has been great but that's pretty hard and um you know, kind of not knowing where you're going and everything new and trying to learn golf courses, you know, you put it all together and there's a whole bunch of little things that, that the comfort level's not quite there like it is in Europe. And, you know, all of that stuff can just equate to being a little bit off. And when you're playing against the best players in the world, week in, week out, you don't have to be very far away from it to, to look a little silly. And, you know, the golf courses we play are pretty brutal as well. And it's the same thing. You know, you hit good shots and you get punished pretty quickly and you get bad shots and, and you get punished really badly, and that's kind of what's happened to me. Um, you know, this this trip, you know, it, it hasn't been that far away, but it's just been far enough away that I, I haven't been able to score. And, yeah, look, all it's going to take is one good day to, ch to change the whole complexion of it, one good week, and I'll be, I'll be up and running, and I know that's pretty close. Ryan Fox is with us. Good old catch-up after the TBC Sawgrass and a hit of Tampa. Telf was asking yesterday, he said, ask Ryan, he said, are the courses particularly harder or than, than the Europe ones, or, 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 or how are they different? Um, they're, they're definitely a little bit harder. Um, you've, from what I've seen over here, you've got a bit more length, um, the fairways are, I don't know if they're narrower, but the penalty for missing fairways is a bit more severe over here. The rough's generally um, up a lot more off the fairway. Um, around the greens, the rough's really nasty, and the greens are generally firmer and faster than what we play in Europe week in, week out. And, you know, you get that, and, you know, it's really easy to make bogey out here. You know, you, all you've got to do is miss a green and, you know, you get a bad lie around the green and all of a sudden you hit it to 15 foot and you make bogey and you walk off and you go, well, I didn't really feel like I did a whole lot wrong there. You know, I, I was just off. And, you know, it's, I think it's just the nature of these courses with everything I've played so far has been pretty tricky and um, I don't really expect that to change. So, you know, I've just got to be a bit more precise with things. And, you know, there's definitely, I've definitely had some scores going. I just haven't been able to put it together, you know, not let alone four days in a row, probably even two days in a row at this point. So, 
yeah, hopefully I can I can piece it all together. So. Right, I'm really interested in the psych- psychology of it because, you know, you've had a fantastic couple of years, as you say, but you've also gone through ups and downs, so you know that the downs are there. And it's almost like, I don't know whether you think, okay, they are going to come at some stage. Everyone that just goes through it during every season, probably or every couple of years. What do you do, mate? Do you talk to people about it? Is there somebody that you sit down with, or is it just you can figure it out all yourself these days? Um, oh, yeah, I chat to the psych. I work with Carl Morris about it. I've I chatted to my team about it, um, you know, coaches and caddy and chatted to dad about it and it look it's just one of those things that's i probably let it get to me early um no there was a little bit of uncertainty as well off the golf course schedule wise and some frustration about kind of not knowing where i was going and you know felt like i you know a couple of those events i I potentially could have got in um you know with a decent week or with you know the the rules being the same as last year or the, the categories being the same as last year. And um, I think I probably let that affect me a little bit on the course as well. Um, so I've just tried to go out and basically not care as much. I know that okay. sounds a weird thing, no, too, but understand. that's generally yep. what, what I've, what's worked for me is go out and, you know, try Free to do mind. really well, yeah. but actually, actually don't care. Yep. Um, and, you know, when you're playing your best, everything's so, so clear in that regard there's no not worried about any outcome and I, you know i think i've been a bit too focused on that you know focused on oh if i had a bad one here i'm going to get punished and if you're trying to play golf like that you know it's it's really hard the game's hard enough as it is let alone worrying about where you might potentially hit it so i think the key for me going forward is really just get back into okay i want to hit it here and then don't really care where it goes and deal with whatever happens and you know that i can take that from off the golf course to deal with all the difficult stuff happening you know, travel wise and and schedule wise and yeah I, I probably could have done a bit better job of that earlier in the year but um yeah it's just one of those things that sometimes the little things get to you and that's kind of what what was happening early and i feel a lot better about things now i've just got to actually turn that into decent golf 